Conley says in a comment on my Meadow review video, he asked if I have any recommendations for in-box storage options uh, instead of baggies. When it comes to being more eco-friendly or more environmentally conscious, it all comes down to small steps. So I really love this question. Well, I thought I would just show some of the items that I found that I personally would use if I was looking for an environmentally friendly option and some of the things that we've done with our board games. So in this game called Cats, we have lots of little cardboard chits and pieces. So we decided to use little candy boxes as storage. This brand is called Torno Virgini. I think it's an Italian brand. We buy it from like a little Italian market in Reading. Uh, so I'll actually, I'll put a link if I can find these so you can buy them because the candy is actually really good. It's an old fashioned chocolate covered like nougat. And then uh, they're all, they are packaged in these little boxes which are great for board game components. Uh, what I did is I added little stickers so we can see what color uh, components these are. I think this is a really cute option, especially for a kid's game and it is, the most environmentally friendly thing that you can do by reusing what you already have. So I wanted to show you a couple other storage containers that we are using in our board game collection that are kind of out of the norm. First of all, I have these antique tins. They used to hold goggles and I picked these up at a yard sale for a couple dollars. I really just kind of like the container, but they ended up working perfectly for these little wooden pieces in one of my husband's favorite games, Arkwright. Arkwright is a economy game and it's themed around like the industrial revolution. So it works out pretty well for that theme. Another thing that I did is I cleaned up these old medicine bottles and I hold dice in them. So I thought it was kind of cool to use them for flatline because Flatline is a medical theme, but it could work for a pandemic or something else along those lines. These are really great containers, and uh, as long as they fit in the box, it's a great option. I did find some products that you can buy from different paper supply stores, akin to what I have here, a nice size that will fit flat in your box, help you to organize what you have in a more environmentally friendly way. First one is this craft paper box. These would be kind of around the same size as the candy boxes that we were using in um, in the cloaked cats. Uh, these are two inches by three inches, which is a little bit bigger than the candy boxes we were reusing. So this would be a nice option. They'd be brand new, no marks on them. Uh, they're $7, $7.15 for 10. So it's not a bad option. Uh, so anyway, this is an Etsy shop and I will link this in the description box below if you want to check it out. And by the way, I don't get any money. I'm not like sponsored by any of these things. These are just things I was shopping for and I was like, oh, this this could work if someone was interested. So here we have little tins. They are um, almost four inches. They're like three and three quarter by two and a half inches, somewhere, something like that. They're little tins that snap close, kind of like the mint containers. I think this, these are a little bit smaller though. And you get 40 in a pack for $24. Seems like a nice deal. Tin does require a lot of carbon in its production, but this is something you could reuse over and over again. And at its end of life, it does just go back into the earth. It doesn't, um, you know, cause any damage. It, it's not like plastic that lasts forever and ever and contaminates everything that it touches. Um, tin kind of just rust and fall apart. So it's a nice option in that regards, but it does have an environmental impact uh, in its initial production. But still, I, I would prefer this over plastic personally. Okay, these are other tins. These are flat tins and these would be really nice. Some of them, um, they're, some of these are about two and a half inches uh, and then they have one that's three and an eighth inch. And I think these are a nice option. They're really flat. So that's really important for a lot of boxes. There isn't a lot of extra space sometimes and you just need the smallest, most compact container. This would be something to consider checking out. This is from a package company called Paper Mart, but it's only like 
$20 for 24. So it's still kind of a cool deal. It's a nice option. Um, moving on, these are, I, these are, I found on Etsy, these are muslin bags and they are 10 for $5. And uh, yeah, this would be very much a swap for a plastic bag. Here, there's little wooden pill boxes. These come in a variety of sizes. The ones that I'm looking at right now are about two inches across. Uh, I like the idea of these. These seem really cute, especially if it was a board game that had a very like woodlandy creature type theme or kind of like a country folksy theme. You could, um, add paint to the top of each lid if it was for different player colors uh, or you could even like do a little symbol for whatever chit or whatever piece you're putting in here you can really decorate them and make them really custom and kind of luxify your game with these 15 for 33 dollars and 70 cents these are a little bit more but if you're thinking about the luxifying your game and you want to do it in an eco-friendly way this would be you know a pretty nice option these are a smaller version. Here you get 12 mini wooden pill boxes for $10. These are quite a bit smaller though. These are only about an inch and a half across. So this would be for really tiny pieces. Uh, the other option here, I think these are actually really cool. I like the pillow boxes. Uh, they have a craft paper option and a couple different sizes. Uh, let's see, the ones that are two and a quarter across by two and a quarter, I guess that's like a, a square. You get 25 for $6 and 11 cents. It's a pretty good deal. So I don't know, this, this, these might not be for everyone. They are semi closable. Like they kind of just, um, snap closed and then you squeeze the long side and then it opens for you. So I don't know, it's just an option. In doing a little bit of research for this video, I learned that craft paper is more eco-friendly because it does not go through the bleaching process that other white papers go through, which is highly toxic. And this makes the craft paper more durable and strong, so it's gonna last longer. And it is highly recyclable, and it can be recycled many, many times. So that's all great for the environment. Yay for craft paper. All right, so if you need containers where you can actually see what's inside of them for whatever reason, whether it's your preference or just, you know, for ease of play, uh, here are some environmentally friendlier options that you can look into. Some of them have parts that are plastic, which is not ideal, but if you need to be able to see what's inside the container, it's something that you kind of can't get away from in some cases. But here are the options that I found that could work if you want to be able to see into the containers. First of all is this um, fiber drawstring bag. You can see through it. I mean, I think it would work. It's an option that would work. Like if you wanted storage for a meadow, maybe, which is all about woodland creatures and the outdoors, this would be like a cute thing to do. 12 for $23 and 74 cents. That's kind of steep, I guess, for what it is but kind of a cool, this is the, the Paper Mart again. But anyway, I thought those were kind of a neat option. And again, I don't know the details of how much carbon is required for making a fiber bag, like what the material is actually made of, how much water was used in production. All those things are things to consider, but ultimately it's non-plastic. So you're not gonna be dealing with um, microscopic fibers or microplastics at end of life. So that's usually, usually a good thing. This is something I don't know if it would work. This is a wax paper favor bag option. Um, I like the idea of being able to see through it, although it is not self-sealing. So you would have to either tie it closed or use some sort of adhesive to, t to keep it closed. 20 for 350, this might be the most cost efficient option there is. And there are a couple different sizes. Again, this is an Etsy store um, and there are many different options when it comes to this sort of thing. Uh, if you just 
start to look at wedding and parvi favors. There's a lot of this sort of thing to consider. Okay, and last, I actually think these are a decent compromise. These are small tins and they have a plastic lid. So it's not 100% plastic free, but it's better than buying those tiny mini Tupperware containers because the majority of it is tin and will rust to be able to go back into the environment without harming anything. Uh, so yeah, you can get 10 of these mini containers. They are five and a half by three, 0.2 inches. So people were saying that they use these for tarot cards. I could see you putting playing cards in here or components. I like the idea that they're very thin and narrow. I think this is a really nice option if you want to see through option. Personally, I never found that I don't have baggies. We've gotten so many board games that give extra baggies for whatever reason. So we actually have a box filled with plastic baggies of various sorts. I don't think it's ever something I will ever need to purchase, but if I do want to purchase nice storage, if I want to deluxify my game for whatever reason, these are the options that I would go with. If you have ideas for eco-friendly storage options, um, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing too. Thank you so much, EK, for your comment. I love hearing from people. So if you have questions or thoughts about the environment, please leave them in the comments because I'm always interested to hear what you guys are thinking. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.